Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. Today is Sunday. It is around noon and I am actually going to hit up the Dollar Tree first today. Um, I do like to look through their grocery and their snack section once in a while just to see what I can find because they do have some good deals there every once in a while. And then I'm going to get the rest of my groceries at Walmart. So once I get home, I will show you what I got for this week and then I will share with you the meal plan as well okay so first I'm gonna share with you what I got from the Dollar Tree I just spent I think it was $27 there uh, the reason basically why I went there was to look for organization containers for my makeup drawer upstairs in my bathroom and I found a couple different ones that I think might work so these came in a three pack um, and they're just white, so I figured these would be nice for like mascara and brushes and stuff like that. And then I got a two pack of these longer pink ones, a two pack of these blue um, kind of more rectangle ones. And then I saw these as I was walking out. These are actually in the kitchen section, but I figured that these would work too for organizing some of my makeup. I got a six pack of these clips. I actually just saw these at the checkout as I was going out and I feel like we're always needing clips for like our chip bags and stuff and they get lost so I just went ahead and grabbed those for that. I think it's a pretty good deal honestly for a buck and they're pretty sturdy. I also grabbed a pack of these flossers. Um, they had a couple different kinds. The other one was actually a better deal because it had more in the bag but these are the gentle slide ones. So I still don't think that's a bad deal, 35 of those for a dollar. Um, I got Connor some more toothpaste. I just got the Kids Crust Anti-Cavity. And then I wanted some more comment for upstairs. This is usually what I use to scrub my shower. So I just grabbed one um, container of the comment with bleach. Uh, and then I think the rest is food. So I grabbed one of these Velveeta cheese sauce pouches. Sometimes I keep these on hand for um, baked potatoes or broccoli, and we're gonna have that one night this week, so I grabbed that for that. I got one package of the just um, cheese dip with breadsticks for a snack to keep in the pantry. I saw these bags of the Tootsie Roll fruit chews, and I love these. I haven't bought them in forever. They come with a bunch of different flavors, so I grabbed a bag of those, and then a couple bags of um, Sour Patch Kids. I also actually got a couple of DVDs at the Redbox when I went to Walmart. So I don't know, maybe the kids can watch one of those tonight and have some popcorn and Sour Patch Kids. But I got one watermelon and then one regular. Um, I also always like to check out their drinks at Dollar Tree and they have this Perrier there and they have some flavors that I can't find elsewhere around here. So this one is orange and this one is watermelon. I think I've tried the orange before, but not the watermelon. I can't remember for sure. And then I got two cans of Pringles, one pizza and one barbecue. Um, I saw this there as well. This is the Jif to go chocolate silk. Um, I do not remember if I've had this before, but I figured it would be fun for a snack for the kids, maybe to have with apples or pretzels or something. We needed more applesauce and I just went ahead and grabbed it at the Dollar Tree. I'm sure they have this all the time, but I've never looked for it before. Um, but cinnamon applesauce is Connor's favorite and I figured four cups of that for a dollar is a pretty good deal. So I went ahead and got two of those. I also keep peanut butter crackers usually in the pantry just for a snack. Um, Connor will eat these for a snack. I'll, sometimes I'll throw them in my bag for work. Um, for a snack also so I grabbed those they these are the smaller packages but I mean they're actually four packs of crackers and six come in there for a buck so that's not bad and then I grabbed some more of my favorite popcorners uh, one bag of kettle corn and one bag of white cheddar and then this is another thing I always get when I go there if they have it in stock which is the six pack of the mini pretzels these are really good for lunch boxes which obviously we don't need them right now but Connor likes pretzels um, too so I went ahead and grabbed those so that's everything that I got from Dollar Tree okay and then here's everything that I got from Walmart I did buy some non-food items but I just kept track of what I spent on groceries so I could share that with you guys I spent $117 um, on groceries 
including um, the drinks I got, which I got quite a few because we were out of a lot of things. Uh, the strawberries are super cheap right now. They had one pound for 99 cents or these two pound packages for $1.98. So I went ahead and grabbed a two pound package of those. I am gonna probably make some fruit salad to put in the fridge for this week. So I think I'll go ahead and put the pineapple in that as well. These have been on sale for the last, I don't know, three or four weeks. Um, pineapples have been on sale for 88 cents each and they've been really good so I went ahead and bought another one of those. I grabbed some grapes. These were on sale for $1.98 a pound. Um, these actually worked a lot better than the grapes I got last week. I think if I remember correctly I got grapes from Aldi last week and they weren't that great. I had to throw away a bunch of them because they were mushy. Um, mint is one of the herbs that I'm missing from my pots um, out back on my deck. So I saw this in the produce section and it was $2.98, I believe. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I like to put mint like in lemonade. It's really good or limeade if you mix mint with that. And I kept smelling this the whole way home in the back of my vehicle. It smells really good. So I'm gonna go plant that here in a little bit. Um, I have a head of iceberg in the fridge so I didn't need a whole lot of lettuce this week. I think I have some spinach left over too. So I just grabbed one um, head of the green leaf lettuce and I'll probably cut some of it up for salads and then leave some of it whole for sandwiches. Uh, we were almost out of apples so I grabbed a bag of the, this is a three pound bag I think, of Granny Smith apples. Connor really likes those. I try to switch back and forth between like these and the Gala apples. Um, I got some grape tomatoes. I'm going to be making um, caprese salad this week and I needed a little bit more. I have some in the fridge left over from last week, but I didn't think I had enough, so I grabbed a container of those. I also got some bananas. We actually ran out of bananas this past week. Connor likes to eat them as a snack, and then sometimes I'll eat one too, like a banana with peanut butter for breakfast, or I'll take it as a snack to work. Um, so I just grabbed six of those. I just got two lemons. Uh, we have plenty of limes in the fridge, but we only had two lemons, and I didn't want to run out this week. Um, they had these bags of mandarin oranges, three pound bags for, I believe it was $2.97. I didn't see that they had like the Halo brand anywhere, but these seem like they're soft and good. So this is something that I always like to keep on hand. Kira really likes these, but obviously it's a quick fruit snack for anyone that wants one. And then I have a couple different uh, recipes that I needed peppers for, and I also like to cut these up for the kids to snack on, they really like them. So I just went ahead and got the three pack of the yellow, red, and orange bell peppers. So that's everything I got for uh, produce this week. I still have quite a bit of produce left in my drawers, especially veggies. I know I have some broccoli in there and some cucumber um, and some green beans. So that's all in the meal plan this week, but I didn't wanna buy extra produce and obviously not use it. Uh, I got two half gallons of 2% milk for cooking or cereal or whatever we need it for. I also grabbed a dozen eggs. Uh, we have, I think, 10 eggs left in the fridge, so that should last us through the rest of the week. Uh, we had some yogurt left over, and so I didn't want to buy too much, so I just went ahead and grabbed two of the Chobani flips. I got one uh, peanut -y s'mores and one peanut butter cup. I got a container of sour cream because I think we're going to do tacos one night this week. Kira specifically asked for some of these pepperoni wraps. I know I've talked about these before and they are pricey. Like this is almost five bucks for this. Um, so I try not to buy them all that often. And I honestly wish that I could get like large pepperoni around here. Um, I think I can get it if I go to Hy-Vee and have it sliced in the deli, but I wasn't going there today. But anyway, if I could find large pepperoni, I would just make my own with like cheese sticks because that would be so much cheaper. Um, I did grab a package of the sharp cheddar cheese sticks uh, to keep in the fridge for snacks. And then I always talk about this salami that I get from the deli at Walmart. It's really good. Um, they always have it pre-packaged there. So I think this is just a half a pound, yeah, of the hard salami. We were all out of that, so I grabbed a package of that. I got one package of um, shredded cheddar cheese for tacos this week, and then we were all out of sliced sharp cheddar, and that's what Kira likes to have on her wraps, and then I'll eat it on sandwiches as well. Um, we we're almost out of Nutella, so I just got the Great Value brand of the chocolate hazelnut spread. And then 
I think, oh, I can't remember if I've talked about this before. So this is, I think, newer at Walmart. It's Southwest Hot Mustard, and I first saw this on, Fa on Fallon's channel, uh, Moss Family TV, and I got it because Adam really likes the hot mustard sauce that McDonald's has for their nuggets, and it actually tastes close to that. So this is actually a second bottle. I got one bottle uh, midweek this week, but I thought if it's something we like, watch the link, get rid of it. <laughs> so I went ahead and grabbed another container just to keep in the pantry. Oh, and by the way, this stain right here is from my lilies that I had on my counter, so I need to scrub that. By the way, if you ever have questions about my butcher block counter, which I seem to get lots of like questions and comments on it, I did a whole video on that. So if you just search Jen Chapin butcher block, you'll find the video and then that'll answer all your questions. Um, I got some honey mustard dipping sauce. So Connor really likes the chicken dipping sauce from Walmart. Um, it's very like high in calories. Like it's basically just corn syrup. <laughs> and so I was looking at this and this actually has about, oh, I think this had 100 calories per serving and the other one had 150 calories per serving. And so I was like, well, I'm just gonna get this instead because he likes honey mustard too, but I feel like that other stuff is just pure sugar. So I thought I would switch to that. He probably won't even notice. Um, uh, I, okay, I've seen this a lot in the store and I've seen other people buy it and I've never bought it before. This is the Reese's Whip Topping. Um, there's a YouTuber that I watch, um, her channel is Justin's Journey. She does Weight Watchers, but I watch some of her videos like her grocery hauls and meal preps and stuff and she always has these with chocolate rice cakes <laughs> which I thought sounded really good and I forgot to get any rice cakes but I actually got some ice cream I thought we could try this with so let me know if you've tried this before and if you like it. Um, Adam requested some hot tea like specifically K-cups and so I never actually bought tea before for my Keurig but this is just plain um, Earl Grey black tea and there's 24 K cups in there. So I went ahead and grabbed that for him. I'm almost all out of canola oil spray. So I grabbed a container of that. And then I am team puppy Cheetos. I like them way better than, come on. Everyone else likes the crispy Cheeto or what are the crunchy Cheetos? I don't know, I like Cheeto puffs. So anyway, I grabbed those for the week to have as sandwiches. Um, and then for bread this week, so I haven't had, I feel like I haven't had rye bread forever and I saw it and I thought, you know, that sounds good um, with like some turkey sandwiches this week. So I got one loaf of rye bread. I actually, I have a free pound of Deluso deli meat on my card at hy V, And so I was thinking maybe I would go there later this week and get some corned beef um, and then I can make Rubens, but I don't know yet. I don't have that on the meal plan yet. And then uh, I just got one package of blueberry bagels because I have some cream cheese in the fridge that I'd like to use up. So I got those for that. I just got one loaf of bread. We were totally out of bread. So this is the kind that the kids like. It's just a Sara Lee honey wheat. Uh, and then these are in the clearance grocery section at my Walmart. Um, I think I've bought these one time before maybe, but I can't remember what flavor. Um, these are the original cake bites. And they're just like little snack cakes covered with um, chocolate. This one is like uh, chocolate with vanilla cake. And then this one is lemon cake with white icing. So you can see this one was only $1.88. This one was $2.61. So I don't know. I figured I would, I would try them. Uh, I don't know why they're clearance because they don't expire until November. But anyway, I grabbed those. I got one container of cookies and cream ice cream. I thought that would be good with the Reese's uh, whip topping. And then I normally get like the sparkling ice uh, 12 packs when I'm at Walmart, but I actually calculated it out. These clear American ones are basically the same and they're 52 cents each. And so if I get these, it's actually around what, one, two, three. Yeah, it's actually around six dollars for these. But if I get the 12 pack of sparkling ice, it's almost ten dollars. So this is probably the best deal that you can get. So I just went ahead and got 12 of these. I got two watermelon cucumber, two pineapple orange, two strawberry banana, two peach nectar, two pineapple passion fruit, and two citrus. 
Um, so those were the flavors I got of that. And then I've purchased this before. This is the unsweetened mint mojito flavored sparkling water and it's not alcoholic. It's just supposed to taste like mojito um, in a sparkling water and it's really good. If you like, you know, uh, LaCroix or sparkling water like that, it's very good. So I went ahead and grabbed that for myself. Um, and then this is the sweetened, well, not necessarily sweetened because it's zero calories, but this is the sweeter sparkling water that I normally get. I usually get one or two of these a week and this week I got the cherry limeade. And then we were all out of soda, so I got a 12-pack of Diet Wild Cherry Pepsi and a 12-pack of the Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. So this is different than Diet Mountain Dew. Um, I think it's sweetened with something different. I'm not sure. Either way, it's still zero calories, so I grabbed that. We've had this before, and it's pretty good. Um, I just got one package of chicken nuggets because... Um, I, I just keep these on hand for like a quick lunch during the week since we're mostly all home now and um, it's nice to just be able to like throw a tray of chicken nuggets either into the air fryer and the oven and have lunch. And then I grabbed these um, Ziploc containers. I actually looked for these at the Dollar Tree um, because sometimes they have this size there and they didn't have them there today. Um, so I just went ahead and got these from Walmart. I think they were, this pack was maybe $2.48. Um, but I like this tall size. They're really good to store like soup or spaghetti sauce or I also store fruit in them in the fridge as well. Um, and then I got a couple different shirts. I got this shirt for Kira. This was in the women's section. It's just a Stranger Things t-shirt. So I thought she would like that. And then I got this tank top for myself. I think I've talked about these tank tops before. It's the Time and True brand at Walmart. And I just get the, um, um, the XXL size is what fits me. But I really like them. They have, um, they come with a knot at the bottom. So you can wear them like this, which I have before or you can undo the knot and they are kind of longer. Um, so they're nice to like wear with leggings, they cover your butt. So I really like these tank tops and I'm pretty sure I have three of them now. And they are super cheap. They're only what, $7.98, eight bucks for that. So I grabbed another one of those. Um, I need to order more of these from Amazon, but I just haven't yet. These are like the mini dressing cups. So I grabbed these from Walmart, 50 come in a pack. I use these a lot for meal prep. Um, and then they had a few different Sistema containers that I haven't seen before. So I have lots of these Sistema containers, but I don't have these uh, particular ones. So this one is like a four compartment. Um, my thought with this one is maybe if I wanted to prep like veggies to keep in the fridge for the week, like carrots and tomatoes and cucumber and that kind of stuff, I could put that in here. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I like their containers. They hold up really well. They don't leak. Um, you can put them in the dishwasher. They're just, they're really good. So I got that one. And then this is another size I hadn't seen. It's a multi-split one. So this is for more like a, I guess you like for taking a lunch or maybe a snack plate or something like that. So it's got the larger section in here and then two smaller sections. Um, I personally probably wouldn't put these in the microwave. I try not to put plastic in the microwave uh, with my food just because I feel like it ruins the container, but this would be good to pack a cold lunch in. And then lastly, I grabbed two replacement baking trays. This is the Nordic Ware. I got a large sheet and a half sheet. Uh, these, I feel like I go through them rather quickly. I probably use one of these at least every day in my house, maybe every, maybe every other day. And I've tried to scrub them before. You know, you can scrub them with Comet and steel wool and whatever, but honestly, once they get too far gone, I just have to toss them and get new ones because they're so gross. But anyway, that's everything that I got this week from the store. I'm gonna get some of this stuff put away and then I'll share with you the meal plan. All right, so here's a look at our meal plan for the week. Um, in case you are new or you're wondering where my meal planner is from, it's from Carrie L. I always have a link in my description box um, for a discount if you guys want one. I'm not affiliated with her or anything, uh, but I have been using her products for quite some time. The only thing is, is these meal planners do go in and out of stock. And the last time I checked, they were not in stock, but if you follow her on Instagram, she's really good about letting you know um, when they come back in stock. And she's always got printables on her site in case you wanna print them out as well. But the reason I like it is it comes with a tear-off grocery list. 
So yesterday uh, for dinner we had pork tenderloin with um, some cheesy potatoes that I had left over from last week. I just reheated those up. We also had some leftover mac and cheese that I reheated and then I also made some green beans. Um, tonight, Sunday, we're actually doing some barbecue chicken flatbreads in the oven. So I spent some time cleaning out my fridge this weekend and kind of meal prepping and meal planning for the week to try and use up as much stuff as I could so I wouldn't waste anything. And you guys will see that in a video coming up this week soon, For watch, so watch out for that. Um, and then I also made some coleslaw to go with that and then I'm going to make some fruit salad with all of the fruits that I got. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do chicken kebabs so normally what I do is I just take chicken breast and cube it up I marinate it with lemon juice olive oil parsley um, salt pepper garlic and then I put it on skewers and grill it and then we'll have that with some pitas that I'll warm up in the oven um, I'm probably gonna make like a tomato and feta salad with cucumber and then I'm also going to make some homemade hummus uh, Tuesday we're gonna do steaks on the grill um, those are in the freezer, so I'll have to take those out probably on Monday. And then I am going to make some baked potatoes. We have some broccoli I can steam up, so I can probably do like broccoli and cheese baked potatoes. And then I also have some fresh mozzarella in the fridge that I want to use, so I'm going to do a caprese salad with that. On Wednesday, I'm going to try some shake and bake pork chops. So I got this at the grocery store a couple weeks ago, and we haven't used it yet. This is the great value shake and bake and this is the honey bourbon so i have some pork chops in the freezer we're going to try that out with that i hope it's good and then i'm going to make mashed potatoes with that and green beans on thursday i actually have some taco meat in the freezer that i want to use so i'm going to thaw that out and we have plenty of flour tortillas um, i have refried beans in the pantry and spanish rice as well and then friday uh, we'll either probably go out or order pizza so that is what is on the meal plan for this week. All right guys, so that is gonna wrap it up for this week's grocery haul and meal plan. I would love to know what you guys are having for dinner this week. If you're having anything that's a family favorite of yours or just something that you haven't tried for a while that you're excited to make, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah, we stop talking and then I will.